why seeds don't germinate this is the topic that we are going to go over into this video stay tuned be right back hello happy youtubers welcome back marceline her showing you another video why seeds don't germinate this can be a bin or rinse of problems from where you get the seeds how long the seeds are collected or in storage or maybe seeds are infested or diseased if this is your first time visit here start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything also give thumbs up if you find this video very helpful let's continue in the next episode coming up seed grows in soil miraculously awesome just place the seed in the soilless media like that then cover lightly add water keep it moist and warm seed will germinate just like this little guy here look at this desert rose it's beautiful so from seed to young seedling and to a beautiful established plant look at this desert rose guys look at that look at the leaves very healthy and green you can tell if desert rose is healthy by the size of the codex the trunk look at the trunk is fat this is this means that the plant is healthy all right so let's talk about the eight problems of seed germination stay with me guys next episode coming up seed germination is very simple anyone can grow seeds right but what if your seeds don't germinate or sprout this can add too much stress on you this is the reason why i created this video and give you the information so you can prevent these problems i gathered eight number of cases why seeds don't sprout so stay with me until the end of the video the next episode is going to start in a couple of seconds starting now i put together eight problems of seeds germination and i'm going to share this information to you guys so you can get started right away the number one problem why your seeds are not sprouting probably seeds are old old seeds don't grow so don't waste your time germinating the seeds if you're buying your seeds in store or in local nursery check the label of the seed packet at the back is the expiration date this is going to tell you if the seeds are effective or expired if you are going to buy seeds online like we do we buy most of our seeds online i would suggest to do your research first research a good reputable seed company because there are so many uh, online sellers that sell seed so search a good company that you can buy your seeds the other way to get to know the, with the company is by reading the reviews so read the customers reviews this is going to tell you if the company is providing good services and good products to those customers again do your research buy seeds on the reputable seed company and read customer reviews the second problem seeds are bad defective or non-viable now to test the life of the seeds drop in water i drop my bitter melon seeds here in water and i keep in water for 24 hours seeds that float are bad seeds seeds that think are good seeds this bitter melon all of them are on the bottom that means that this is a good quality seeds to germinate extra bonus of information for you guys when you are collecting seeds from your garden and you want to save them for the next year growing get a tight sealed container and then place your seeds in the container i save a lot of this packet this came from our medication bottle so if you can find uh, this packet in one of your medication bottle or any products you purchase online save them don't throw away because you can use this for your seeds to keep the moisture so i place this inside the container and i also add this cotton ball because cotton ball is going to absorb moisture moisture can ruin the seeds so by keeping the seeds in a tight sealed container with the uh, uh, moisture packet is going to keep the seeds life longer then place the seeds in a cold temperature this is going to keep 
for emergency. Another problem of seed germination is wrong seed planting. So if you are going to plant seeds, don't plant too deep because if it is too deep, it takes a while for the seeds to germinate or maybe don't germinate at all. So you just place in a shallow like that and then push down, cover lightly. So this is how you germinate seeds. Another problem of seed germination is incorrect watering. Overwatering and underwatering produce the same result. Too much water, seeds will rot. Too dry, seeds don't germinate. So be mindful of your germination site. So to correct the problem, I would suggest to water below. Water radiates from the bottom all the way to the top. Now you can... Uh, spray on the top surface to get it started so you want to keep the germination site moist not dry all right guys get your seeds ready let's plant seeds oh my goodness it is so cold it is 20 degrees right now and finally it stopped the snow so this is my wrist bed look at that it's covered with snow this is going to melt long period of days so this is what happened if you live in this subtropical region so you cannot germinate seeds in the garden you have to germinate your seeds indoor and wait until spring when the ground is suitable for growing seeds oh my gosh it's cold guys look at my Wiki grow garden. Oh man, it's cold. Look at the look at the snow. Who is cold? So this is another problem of seeds germination. Seeds don't germinate in cold soil. They prepare uh, dark or bright light with moist environment and warm then that is the uh, seeds would prepare so this is not a good timing for seeds germination so know your zones guy know your zones another problem of seed germination is wrong soil compact soil interferes germination Seeds grow best if the soil is lighter, good erosion, and good drainage. I would recommend to use microgreens because, as you can see here, it has good quality, quality texture. It contains good proportion of cocoa peat, perlite, and vermiculite. Vermiculite, vermiculite helps hold moisture, so this is a good product to grow seeds now if you're going to mix your own soilless i would suggest to do two to one ratio two parts uh, cocoa peat with perlites and one part vermiculite don't add too much vermiculite because you don't want too much moisture building in your germination site too much moisture affects germination also a good opportunity for fungal growth Slug and snails are also a troublesome in majority of the gardeners. Not only they eat the young leaves, they also sniff off the steam. If you have problem of slugs, use the uh, dia diatoms. This is great in controlling the infestation of slug. Once they digest the powder, it cuts through their digestive system and they will die. The last problem of seed germination that I'm going to mention here is dumping off. Dumping off is a serious death in young seedling that it appears in the uh, lower base of your seedlings. Sometimes it, it, it uh, damages the middle section of the young plant or the whole entire plant will die so there is no treatment for the dumping off but there is something that you can prevent from the uh, from the fungus fungus gnats 
is also another problem and I'm going to go to cover this in my next video on how to prevent fungus gnats and uh, dumping off so uh, don't miss this video next week guys so I will cover the uh, little more details but in this video I just want to give you an ideas about the different problems of seeds germination now if you are going to to uh, do your germination so if you are going to prepare your soil in uh, in your germination try using the neem powder this is the one that i use here in my garden the neem powder not only give nutrients uh, nitrogen to your plants it also protects uh, uh, insects and fungus diseases that could damage your uh, seedlings or could affect your germination so I already make something in here uh, one full of this so I use one full and then mix in the soil it's already mixed in here in the soil to save time so this is also one way that you can use the name another way to use the name powder is mix in soil uh, mix in uh, water one teaspoon so I already have this one here and then spray the seedlings spray the bottom this is going to protect that young seedling But they don't need all my challenges to search for my strength. I defeat them all. I'm never ever gonna hide no more. I come to love myself again. Yeah. For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go. This is for today. Thank you for watching guys. If you think this video is very helpful, give it thumbs up. This is Marcelina at Casio Greens. Stay green and grow big. Peace out little YouTubers. When you say you feel low and good things are hard to see. When you pray